Amy with Colored Valley Cooks. We decided we'd go on Colored Valley Cooks live and do my red velvet cake. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a white cake mix. My favorite cake mix is Aldi. I just like it. I like it better. This is a white Baker's Choice is their brand cake mix. Now some people do sift their cake mixes through a sifter. I know one of my friends that always did, but I don't fool with it. So here goes the cake mix in. While we're uh, doing this with the cake mix, we're going to cream our butter. This is one stick of butter, which is a half cup of butter. Let's cream our butter. I'm getting to talk and forget what I'm doing. And while we're creaming our butter, we're going to put three tablespoons of cocoa in here. Y'all hit the like and share button on my videos. This is a pretty lumpy cake mix. It might not have hurt if I had uh, sifted that sucker. It's so lumpy. So we'll sift it. I'm trying to think. I'll probably... Tell you what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to sift it into here. And that way I don't have to mess up another bowl. So let's go ahead and put the rest of our ingredients in here. We're going to have a cup of buttermilk. Whole buttermilk. A half a cup of water. Three eggs. There's one. Two. Three. I will put my color in last. Two tablespoons of vinegar. Tablespoons. And today I have some white vinegar. I picked some up at the store. So this is going to be perfect. And we're just going to turn this on right quick and just blend it. Just a tiny bit. You move these eggs. I don't want to splash them. All right, now let's just sift our ingredients into here. Here we go. A lot of y'all gonna say, I would never do that. I just buy the red velvet cake mix. But I'm gonna tell you, if you buy the red velvet cake mix, this is gonna be better. Y'all can see this going in. Did you get the view from the side so they could see the sifting? And then I'll let them see the uh, part that needs to be smashed. I'm making y'all's cake. Y'all look at them. So all I'm going to do is take my hand. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move this out of the way. Take my hand and just the back of my hand. And just smash it until it goes through. And that way, now my cake won't have any uh, lumps in it. And you can tell by looking at that, the part that was um, in lumps was sugar, mostly sugar. Okay, so we are going to put this back on. We've already got something dirty, so we'll use it. And we're going to mix this for two minutes. At a, at a medium speed. One person said they were having a hard time finding a whole buttermilk. Yes. Do you have any suggestions for that? No. Try the dollar store, General Dollar. Try, um, you know, you're just going to have to stop somewhere else to get it. Uh, this is a brand that we can get Country Delight at the Food Depot. And we're going to mix the rest of it. Um, it's supposed to mix for at least two minutes. But I'm going to open a three-ounce container of red food coloring. And we're going to start adding that in now. We are going to bake these 
in small layers. And um, so let me take this and get it out. So um, this is three eight inch layers. You don't have to spray them all the way up and waste your spray because these are gonna be thin layers. It makes a taller cake. I like for my cake to look tall when I bake it. So you're gonna put a heaping cup of mix in each, each pan. recipe that has pudding or you want to add pudding just make sure you grab the right kind of cake mix that's all I'm saying don't double pudding it because it's too much moisture cake mixes are already so moist that I don't really know you know you know what I mean my Italian cream cake is amazing we may make one of those soon um, it's made with a cake mix and I put sour cream in it and um, it's so good. So anyway, let's get these in. I'm going to bang these a little bit. This is our stuff for our icing. I just like to do that because it levels off the top a little bit. Yeah, it's loud. But it works. But this time, I'm going to put this in the middle since those are coming to the edge and put it right in the center. You don't want to put three on the same rack and cook two on the back, one on the front, because they're going to be walk-sided. Y'all just go to the website, www.coloredvalleycooks.com. You'll see links to buy the cookbooks. Um, with my new uh, website, I think it comes up on tomorrow, you'll just click the cookbook tab, and then there's different ways you can buy it, okay, and it'll show you. Is that two blocks? No, I actually, it's 12 ounces. It's an 8 ounce plus a half of a block. So it's a block and a half, which is 12 ounces. Thanks for correcting me. I never say my numbers are right. Scrape the sides right quick, and we're gonna start adding the powdered sugar. Cream we'll, cheese. Um, see, I'm crazy. All right, just put this on me. I'm gonna tell them something, y'all. This is true. I'm not on drugs. I sound like I am. I went through chemotherapy nine years ago. Nine years ago. Plus, I'm going through menopause, and it makes you say the craziest things. You think something, but you say something completely different. And, and it, my kids are used to it, but it's hard on the show, people, because y'all don't know. Y'all don't know that's, y'all don't know there's something wrong with me. But there really kind of is. My brain don't function uh, at 100% level anymore. I sure wish you did. Is there teaspoons or tablespoons? Two teaspoons. It's vanilla flavoring, so I add two. If it were vanilla extract, I'd just put in one. Now, like I said, this is my lowest setting, so I just make do with what I got. So that's as low as it goes, and we're going to just start adding the powdered sugar. Um, one, two pound. What we use is a stick and a half of butter, uh, 12 ounces of cream cheese, and two pounds of... Uh, powdered sugar. Okay, so as soon as these come out of the oven because they're thin, I'm going to flip them and start a new one. So here we go. So she normally would not do this, but nope. she is today. You can do it with a cake mix every time. So we're going to put together this red velvet cake. I'm really not going to give you a bunch of tips. I'm just going to ice it and that's going to be it. It's going to be quick. Um, if you want to see tips on how to decorate, how to ice a cake, Go to Kate Lessons. Now, if you want red velvet crumbs to decorate with, then you can uh, save one of your layers and just make crumbs out of it. But that's a big price to pay, getting rid of a whole layer of your cake, right? 
so I'm not doing it. We'll just put some border red in the border. That way it look red velvet. And we'll garnish it with the pecans, okay? inside the bag to put a stripe of color. This is gel color, so it's a little thicker. You couldn't do this with liquid color. You can get this on, at Amazon on my website or um, at Walmart. That's pretty. Now we'll just put a little pecan in the middle. We're going to be done. Don't waste these expensive pecans, right? This is a very rich cake, so there's really no sense in being a hog. And, oh. Let's see which one I can pull out. There you go. I'm going to taste it. layers a little bit deeper than the nine the other day not a whole lot but it is okay and I'm sure it's gonna be delicious y'all it's delicious the woman where mama works said it she really said that she said I think that's the best cake I've ever tasted it and I was like now really and she was like yeah really it's so moist it's so delicious and the toasted pecans just help cut the cream cheese just enough that the blend is just absolutely perfect. I mean, it really, really is, y'all. I'm going to get me a piece so Chris can take a picture. And um, we're going to sign off of here, y'all. Y'all can watch me lay this on the plate, and then we'll go. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. And sometimes we even improve a little bit. As we go why because things not all not everything that we use today was available to them here are quite a few things I'm gonna make a bigger piece just for the picture there's quite a few things mama didn't have that I have quite a few There it is. All right. See you later.